What up, y'all? <clears throat> this is the Plague Doctor, and today I'm gonna talk to you about uh, what you call that? About my uh, relative, as you could tell, the by just by the title, of course. Many people don't really, like, like most people don't really know about the, about my relative. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to type on a laptop and it ain't working, but... But here is the, so here's the story of John Wesley Harden, my, uh, relative. Yeah, I'm dipping right now. But John Wesley Harden. Born May 26, 1853, which would have made him a Gemini. Died August 19th, 1895. Was an American out. Old West outlaw, gunfighter, and convert, convert, co controversial folk icon. Hardin often got into trouble with the law. From an early age, he killed his first man at the age of fifteen, claiming he did so in self defense. Self defense. Mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. Pursued by in self defense, pursued by lawmen for most of his life in 1877 at the age of 23, he was sentenced to 24 years in prison for murder at the same time of sentencing. Hardin have claimed to have killed 42 men while co contemporary newspaper accounts contribute 27 deaths to him. While in prison, Hardin studied law and wrote an autobiography. He was well known for exaggerating or fabricating stories about his life and claimed credit for many killings that cannot be corroborated. Within a year of his, of his 1894 release, from prison, Hardin was killed by John Selman in an El Paso saloon, which is the Acme Saloon. Hardin was born in 1853 near Bonham, Texas, to James Gipp Hardin, a Methodist preacher and a circuit writer and Mary Elizabeth Dixon. He was named after John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist denomination of the Christian church. In his autobiography, Hardin described his mother as blonde, highly cultured, while charity predominated her in her dis disposition. Hardin's father traveled all over the much of central Texas, mm -hmm on his preaching 
Circus until he settled his family in Sumter, Trinity County, Texas in 1895 or 1859. I mean, And here's where I say, here's where I say that John Wesley Harden is my blood kin. Because I found this out through a couple of uh, websites that deals with ancestry. One being uh, Ancestry.com and uh, Wikitree. Where was I? There, Hardin's father established and taught at the at the school that John Hardin and his siblings attended. Hardin was the second surviving son of ten children. The Hardins were Southerners and political, and put politically prominent. His great grandfather was North Carolina provincial provincial congressman. Colonel Joseph Hardin, the father of Congressman Martin D. Hardin of Kentucky and father of Congressman John J. Hardin, relative included Congressman Ben Hardin and Colonel John Hardin of Virginia. Colonel Joseph Hardin, if if you uh, look up that name, I'm actually going to pull it up for you guys. Where is it? Wikitree. What the hell, dude? Joseph G. Harden. Here is Joseph Harden Sr. Benjamin Hardin is the second, his father, Sarah, or Elizabeth Sarah Hooper Hardin. All right. What they, what they meant, what they said about Joseph Hardin Sr. was he was a revolutionary and Indian War colonel. Hardin was granted acres, 3,000 acres of land in 1775. This land was in the middle district of the Tennessee River Valley. This grant is the present day Hardin County, Tennessee in 1816, James and Joseph Jr., two sons of Colonel Hardin, and a party of 25 immigrants from Greene County came to settle this area. This group of settlers were known as Hardin, Brasselton, 
the Azahard and Brazelton party, three or more Colonel, three of three more of Colonel of Colonel Hardin's sons and daughters came to Hardin County to live. But during the time, I'm trying to find All right. State of Franklin. Free Republic of Franklin, blah, 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 was an unrecognizable proposed state located in, in, what's, in what is today East Tennessee. U.S. Franklin was created in 1784. Pop from part of the territory west of the Appalachian Mountains that had been offered by North Carolina as a secession to Congress to help pay debts related to the American War for Independence. It was founded with the intent of becoming the 14th state of the, U the, U of the new U.S. Extra legal State and Territories, Historic Region of the U.S., 18, or August 1784, December 1887, or 1788, Capital Provisional, Jonesboro, 1784 to 1785, Permanent Greensville, 1785, 1788, History, government type republic, organized extra-legal extra territory, governor or president, President Colonel John Sevier. Which, who is the founder of Sevierville County? Speaker of the House, William Cage. Speaker of the House, Colonel Joseph Hardin and blah 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 basically basically In 1862, at age nine, Hardin tried to run away from home and join the Confederate Army. Trouble in school, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, this is basically telling his life story. Encounters with Wild Bill Hickok. 
The Bulls Head Tavern in Abilene, Kansas had been established as a partnership between ex lawman Ben Thompson and gambler ex or gambler Phil Coe. The two entrepreneurs have painted a picture of a bull with a large erected, you know what, on the side of the establishment as an advertisement. Hold on. I'm going to have to look up something. Copy. I have to see this. It, I guess they won't show it. But anywho. On the side of their establishment as an advertisement, citizens complained to town marshal while Bill Hickok, when Thompson and Co. refused his request to remove the bull, Hickok altered it for himself. Infer infuri infuriated, Thompson tried to incite his new acquaintance, Harden, by exclaiming, to him, he's a damn Yankee. Pick on rebels, especially Texans, to kill. Harden then, under the assume of name Wesley Clemens, better known to the townspeople by the alias Little Arkansas, seemed to have respect for Hickok and replied, If Bill needs killing, why don't you kill him yourself? Later that night, Harden was confronted by Hickok, who told him that he that he was wearing guns in violation of town ordinance. And ordered him to hand over his guns, which he did, but in a quite surprising way, Harden reached out, picked his revolvers up from the holsters, and handed the guns to Wild Bill, but Butts Ford then swiftly rolled back, rolled, rolled them back over his, over in his hands, and suddenly Wild Bill was staring right into their muzzles. However, both men did back down. Hickok had no knowledge that Harden was a wanted man, and he advertised Harden, advised Harden to avoid problems while in Abilene. Harden met up with Hickok again while on a cattle drive in August.
In August 1871, this time Harden allowed to carry his, his, carry his pistols into town, something he had never allowed others to do for, for his part. Harden, still using his allies, was fascinated by w Will Wild Bill and revealed in being revealed revealed in being seen on the same intimate term with such a celebrated gunfighter. Hardin alleged that his cousin Man Manon Clement Clements was jailed for killing of the two cow hands. Joe and Dolph Shadden in July 1871. Hickok at Hardin's request arranged for his escape to kill a snoring man. And basically this is talking about the most famous thing he did was killing a man for snoring. But basically well, this is basically the history of my fucking relative, John Wesley Harden. And I'm not really going to say much because there's some other things. But Basically, said something about simp diction. But basically, after all his crazy, crazy shit Harden did, after prison, he got his bar exam pa passed and, and obtaining his license. The ceiling. <laughs> Good to see that. You know, I got your belt. Would have better had my belt. <laughs> or this would have been thrown into the crate. <laughs> so you use the same terminology I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just doing a YouTube video. <laughs> You're just getting the tip. <laughs> yeah, I told my dad that we were related. He didn't even surprise him from mm -hmm. Mary Queen of Scots. You're on the Bonnie Prince Charles side. But if anybody goes to England now and claims they're of royal blood from Mary Queen of Scots, there's two right here to discredit them. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know what they do in England. Beheaded. I ain't getting beheaded. They could go fuck off for all I care. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing YouTube. Glad to see you're good. No, not really. But you're still alive. Glad to know that. What did Dingleberry say when I told you to tell her that I was dead? I didn't. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> I didn't because I didn't know if you wanted me to. I was wanting you to. Okay. 
When you go back to Tennessee, I will. Besides, I've been told that and my mom what happened. My dad was like, since not even since. Why did you punch the wall anyway? I don't know. Just because I fucking damn well felt like it. <laughs> no, if she's going to keep talking shit, all I got to do is just take her ass to court. You're still mess with my head. That's all I ask. I'll be more on her. And you the witness to the whole fucking hellhole. But anyways, I've got other things that need to be done today. What? Go beat on your... <laughs> He's blue. He's going to beat on his dog. <laughs> Good to see you again. We can technically speak call each other cousin, so. Yeah. Yeah, I've been listening to Peyton Parrish. Yeah. I thought D3 was downstairs. <laughs> the hell was that security guard come or um, he was actually I had asked him where this room was. It was I told you specifically that I thought downstairs was the first floor. No, this is the first floor. That's the second floor. No, I'm so upset over it. I'm pretty silly. I don't know. They hired these dumbass construction workers to fucking build fucking buildings, and they don't know how to tell a doorknob from a dick. <laughs> they couldn't find their ass from a hole in the ground, apparently. Or they couldn't even fucking put their dick in a girl's vagina without sticking it in their ass. Mm -hmm. But anyways. Oh, <laughs> I got some good news. Oh. I basically hit over a thousand views. Hmm. Watch it gonna take me to the stupid ass fucking. I don't want the damn app. There we go. Anyways. Now I would have been putting put more fucking episodes, but he hasn't been on. Yeah, he has. But thing was, is I can't really say what I really want because I'm at the shelter and there's fucking faggots there. Yeah, you had mentioned that. I was going back to right, beat this one dude because this one dude's started. Oh, and just so you know, Kayla has said that. She'll tell Kyle, who will um, probably knock you unconscious. But I'd like to see him try. Hell, he doesn't have the boys that I do. Exactly. And you know what? I would hang that motherfucker from a tree. I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> and on top of that, he doesn't even know where I'm at half the time. I do. But then again, I'm your family. And you know what? If my dad got wind, my dad would have been up here to kill him. Because my dad said if anything happens, he's coming up here and ripping this city like an asshole. <laughs> he's a vet, right? Military brat. But my papa taught him and my uncles the basically hand-to-hand -hand combat. But my dad learned it so nobody fucked with him anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'd better head out. Yeah, fuck Kayla. Oh, All she is is a tooth, two faced fuck. And what other shit have they been saying? Um, pretty much just that you're lazy. <clears throat> lazy, my fucking ass. At least I don't fucking mooch off the fucking government. True. Hell, look what I'm doing. I'm fucking working, basically, for myself. I knew Kelly didn't give two shits about my PTSD. And she's saying that that in your account is an excuse. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Tell her I got fucking proof that I can't really fucking work like I used to. 
I have the fucking proof. I have the paperwork at my uh, meme malls for my gal, but I have to read or go get re fucking whatever. Certified or whatever or the fuck it's called. Re diagnosed and what have you. You have the same thing I do. Not really. I'm basically normal, but not normal. On top of doing what I do for a living. But anyways, I'm out. Hey, no, no, I'm I'm being lazy right now, as <laughs> Kayla wants to say. Besides, good seeing you. Keep me updated. I will. And let me know when you get there. I will. But the thing is, I already have lined out, lined up for a job out in Knoxville. How am I fucking lazy? How long will it take you to get out there? About three days. Keep me updated on the way. Like from Colorado up to Denver and straight through fucking Nebraska, then straight down into fucking Mississippi into Kentucky and then Clarksville, Tennessee, and then through Nashville and straight through half of the damn state of Tennessee. <laughs> but anyways, keep me updated along the way. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Hell, catch you later. Hell, fucking Kayla don't fucking really know what I'm really all about. True. This is why I didn't say really much about myself. You and I were communicating without saying words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> later. Douches. I mean, deuces. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but yeah. <laughs> but that's basically the story of my family, basically. But like, subscribe, and what have you.